Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the JBN Millie channel. I am JB and I apologize if I sound a bit quiet. It is very late now, I just had to hop on and make this quick video. Kind of breaking news from Roger Eschbacher on Twitter and I think he posted it up on Instagram. So I'm going to leave all of Roger's links in the description down below. But it appears that Scooby-Doo and the Mystery Pups has met the same fate as Holiday Haunt and Haunted High Rise, which is such a shame. So... As you can see the tweet from a colleague, our show Scooby-Doo Mystery Pups has wrapped early because we lost our distribution with HBO Max. It is a very entertaining show that I cannot openly share, but it might get picked up again if they find another distributor. So this is a very interesting scenario. Unlike, you know, the aforementioned Hex Girl movie, Holiday Haunt, that seemed to have been shelled for tax write-off purposes, and it doesn't seem like that's happened here. It seems like it's only a deal with HBO Max, which is kind of like, I understand why, you know, it's kind of lost distribution in terms of they want to downscale for the purpose streaming content, but then that kind of begs the question, if it's based on Scooby-Doo and the Scooby IP, would then Warner Brothers license it to something like Netflix or Disney Plus? It kind of seems unlikely from my point of view. It seems that like it's only possible to say get this on a DVD release or I guess Warner Premiere or something. I really don't know how this stuff works. Now, from our point of view here, we are going to be covering this story as much as we can. We have reached out to several people that we know have been working actively on the Mystery Pop series to see if they can come on for an interview or maybe at least to clarify some of the behind the scenes on what's going on. So as far as we know, this isn't anything to do with the tax write-offs. This is just some distribution um, reason, which again is so confusing. So we will keep you updated with what exactly is going on. But this is really bad news from our point of view as Scooby fans because it seems like we're absolutely getting no more Scooby-Doo content this year, which I understand if Scooby-Doo was a bit of a bizarre IP, but it's the Warner Brothers 100th anniversary, and we've unboxed the McDonald's toys, the Fungo Pops. So much of the 100th anniversary is paying homage and respect to Scooby-Doo, so Warner Brothers does acknowledge that Scooby is a very important IP for them, and yet we know now of three, well, two cancelled projects and one... I guess, what do you call this, um, abandoned projects? I don't really know what to say, but like I say, you know, we are going to be covering this story as much as we can, and once again, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, that's all we have for today, if you do want to see updates on this story and potentially some interviews and comments about it, then please like, comment, and subscribe to JBN Millie, and we'll see you next time.